when you are doing everything in your power to be the best makeup of yourself, it's always going to be an adversary that's going to try to take that away from you. Now, the best way you can overcome this is having the faith. Now, it doesn't matter what you believe in as long as it's something that's positive that's going to get you through it. A lot of people don't have that ability to be strong. And I'm not talking about the physical aspect of strength. I'm literally talking about the mental and, of course, spiritual aspect of strength. Don't let pride confuse your tears. You got to let that out sometimes. You got to let it go. When I lost my mom years ago, that was the hardest thing that I had to deal with. And to this day, I still think about that woman that gave me life. And I have my moments when I'm happy about the good times, but I also have my moments when she left this world. But that's just one thing. That's just one circumstance. There are many circumstances I could talk about. But I continue to move on. Everybody gets knocked down. No matter how tough you think you are, you're going to fall. And when you fall, sometimes you fall real hard. But that ground is a hard surface. And I'm going to tell you something. It ain't going to move because you're laying on it. So you need to rise up and you need to rise above it and you need to start moving. When you get knocked down, how long are you going to stay down? When you lose your job, when you lose that loved one, regardless if it's your husband, your wife, your child, whatever it is, do you have the ability to go through the hurt and the pain of that loss? Regardless of what you're going through, the best time you know that you are strong is when you're at the weakest point of your life. When you are so far down that hole, you looking up and you don't see no light, but yet you know there's an end to this darkness. That's when you'll find out just how strong you really are. This is a process and you have to hurt just a little bit so you can understand what it means to be strong. So don't give up on your hopes. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on yourself. Just keep moving forward. If you think that you're going through something so bad right now, wait until tomorrow if tomorrow comes for you. Look at the person next to you. Look at people all over the world if you ever come in contact with certain individuals. And ask yourself, are they going through a lot more than what I'm going through? Because honestly, there are always going to be people that are going through a lot more than you're going through right now. When you're down, find a way to get up. I've been there. I go through it like anybody else. But I have a job to do in this world, and so do you. April 6, 2020, I lost my dad. I lost my mom nine years ago, and I just lost my father. Many people lose things, things that matter to them things that mean something to them. Recently, I spoke very highly about my father while he was in this world. But now my father is gone. And what hurt me the most is that I didn't have the chance to say goodbye. I didn't have the chance to travel to bury my father because of the crisis that we are facing in our society, in this world right now. But yet I'm here, yet I'm still alive. And yet I still got work to do in this world. Does it hurt? Am I grieving? Do I feel a little bit of despair? Absolutely. Absolutely I feel that pain. Absolutely, I understand what it means to hurt. Absolutely, I feel like there's nothing else left in me. Because when I lost my father, a piece of me went with him. Now that's not something to just be telling you. I'm telling you the reality of how I feel as a man, as a son, as a father, as a human being. No matter how strong no matter how tough you think you are, you're gonna hurt. You're gonna feel that sense of emptiness. 
you're going to feel that sense of loss. But the best thing about losing is to grow. Is to feel it. Is to understand it. Is to fight through it. It's nothing. Nothing on earth can stop your purpose if you just hold on to it. So I live not just for me, not just for my family, not just for the people that look to me, but I do it to honor my parents. It feels not the best of me right now because I don't have that mother to talk to. I don't have that father to talk to or to give advice. It's just me now. The people that mattered in my life, the people that gave me life are no longer in this world. But they exist in my heart. They give me a reason that they left a legacy for me to carry on. This doesn't mean that it's the end of me. It means that I have work to do. It means that I have to continue to push and go harder and go stronger. It means that I have to stay focused. It means that I have to stay faithful to each one of you that is listening to this message. Understand the pain, the struggles, and all of the things that you felt that are holding you back. It's not going to hold you back for very long. Because as long as you are alive, you have to continue to move on. You have to continue to live. You can't allow the misery and the hurt and the pain hold you back to a position where you can't move forward. Because as long as there's life in that body, you got things that you need to get done. The reality is, we cannot go on forever. But we must go on. We can't live forever, but we must continue to live. We must fight for something. Don't fight for nothing. Live and breathe and fight and believe and understand that it's not over for you. It's not over for you because you are still here. So make the most of your life. Honor those that are no longer here with us. Make sure you're leaving the mark. Make sure you're leaving the legacy. So when your time comes, your legacy can be left to the next generation. So keep up the good fight. It's not over for me. And it shouldn't be over for you. Carry on. Live strong. Keep it moving. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business.